What's up, YouTube family? My name is Josh, and me and my wife Brittany go by Flips Finds Fun here on YouTube to show you the stuff that you can find, flip it, and of course we have fun sharing this content with you. We go to a lot of yard sales, garage sales, whatever you want to call them. We love estate sales, even thrift store stops, but not every time is a home run. We struck out on a lot of them this past weekend, as you're kind of seeing, but... Never give up, because the last one turned out to be an incredible one. So let's check that one out. This way. Oh, Hello. Just love seeing what's up there. Garfield. <laughs> These? Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, that'll work. Okay. Yeah, I'll keep them out of your way. <laughs> uh huh. We got them at our house. Yeah. We can hear them hit the house at our house. Oh, I can hear it. We have like a skylight in our living room. Oh, goodness. <laughs> when it hits. Oh, yep. <laughs> The Kermit, mm-hmm. Uh, Muppet Babies. Yeah. <laughs> He's kind of cool looking. Yeah, I think These are cool. What were you thinking on the figures? For all of them? Yeah. Uh, Can we get that one day? 20 for all of them. 20 for all of them? And you can have the basket too. All right. I can always use an extra basket. It's like a bonus. What is that? <laughs> and the zebra jumped out. I said bye bye. I asked. I keep. My daughter 17. She had the big one. Okay. Yeah, it was just glass. Just, just put it right there on the ground. Those are cool. Mm. 
Yeah, I'm just gonna. Yeah, I was like, both of these are cool. That's an ice cream, I think, yeah. Chris. Hello, kitty goat. McDonald's toys. Mm -hmm. Need a hand? Uh, just, oh my god, I need to get good stuff. Yeah. <laughs> Let me see if I need to keep. Okay. The one Barbie box I got, like, it just was a little dusty and really no damage. The rest of these are pretty damaged. Mama, this. Bing, 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 bing. You didn't this one? Sentimental Valentine. It's a Hallmark Barbie. on the top. Oh, those are more of those, uh... Yeah, there's quite a few in there. I just kind of heard it. I was like, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know how to sit there and yeah. clean them. I mean, there's definitely quite a few. Because then we do this set before? Mm-hmm. I mean, yeah, there's some... There was, like... Oh, no. I'll this... Just... I mean, there's a, there's a bunch in here, honey. It's up to you. I mean, you want to dig back through... And... Yeah, I mean, they're all, they're like the McDonald's mm -hmm. and Alexander. Alright, I think we're good. I'm getting that too. Alright, I think we're good now. Okay. Maybe. Maybe. I think so. Hey right, guys, guys, go put those back in the bucket. He found another one. Back in the bucket, guys. All right. What's the damage? You tell me. I know we said twenty for that. Sixty dollars for all of it. Sixty for everything. That'll work. Truck. Yeah. <laughs> and the two blaze things. Yeah. And then two the toys you're going with y'all hunting. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> then I was there here. They were playing with them. Take them on with you. Well, we appreciate it. Yeah. Hey, he said he's Thank you. He said that you can take those tinker toys home. Thank you. Back in here. Uh huh. And then he had his safari truck. Safari truck. Where's the little thingy at? There oh. you go. There you go. You wanted blaze, didn't you? Cohen, what do you say? Thank you, I'm bringing this 
welcome. Okay, so since the boys are watching a movie, we can cover. Um, this was a pretty good yard sale. Yeah. Like, you know, we had a. It's been a day or two. We've been able to go through everything and mm -hmm. look some stuff up. But why don't you show them? Because you saw stuff hanging out of boxes, like from okay. the road. So. <laughs> Tell them kind of how this worked out in your brain, and we'll go over a few comps and stuff. Okay, sure. Yeah, well, um, yeah, because I saw the Garfield stuff from the road, so I was like, ooh, I know that's going to be good. So I know you went straight for that. Um, but she had some Barbies. We typically don't really pick up in-the-box Barbies because most of them really aren't going to be that great. Um, but I saw this one first, and the box was in good shape. Like, it didn't even really have any really any dirt or staining um so i went ahead and comped that one out and that should sell for 40 bucks she was asking five dollars a piece on the barbies which i was like okay that's pretty reasonable mm -hmm. you know for in the box barbies nothing outrageous um so then you found this one um i think you said it goes for about 25 mm -hmm. and then we just went ahead and picked this one up too this one the box is in a little rougher shape a little, um a little dingy yeah but it's you know some yellowing on the plastic but it should still do um pretty decent as well um, this is one of those things, once she kind of started putting prices out there, it was kind of like, all right, well, some of this small stuff, like, I know she's going to do a good bundle deal, so I know yeah. it's just going to be really cheap anyways. I think her first words were like, do you want to make, make a pile? Yeah. So, so that was like, all right, cool. Um, but this little guy, I just couldn't leave him behind. I knew looking at him, he was not going to be worth anything more than $10. These type of banks, um, the piggy bank just typically aren't. But I just couldn't leave him behind. And he was so. like from your birth year. It's it's Muppet. It's the um, yeah. It's like the Muppet Babies. Muppet yeah, Babies. 1989. He just yeah. looks so cool. That's cool. So I had to get him. We might be able to get ten dollars out of him. <laughs> we'll see. Or he'll go on the shelf. Yeah. Or he'll just go on the shelf. Um, same thing with the Snuggle Bear. We've sold a bigger version of this. Um, but it is from um, I think the 90s. Yeah, 96. It had no stains on it, which was great because yeah. um, I've decided I don't like to clean plush anymore. <laughs> But it's got tags. But he's got the tags, yeah. so he should do um, he should do pretty well. I think the one we sold before, the big one, went for like twenty bucks. So he might be able to do, you know, twelve to fifteen or so. Okay. Um, same with this Pyrex bowl. I kind of saw this towards the end. Um, but Pyrex is really easy to look up. They all have a number on here. I've never picked up this brown pattern before. Mm -hmm. Um brown i guess is, i mean i assume it's probably not the most desirable but we should still be able to get some pretty decent money out of this here um to find a comp and put it up on the screen for you um found some monster high dolls you we don't can't, have to talk about these too much can't leave them behind when we find them we already have um a bunch that we plan to just do lots of um these were mostly she's missing some wings or something but these are all Maybe she's missing the tail, but still, they, I mean, you can sell the hands and the arms for like $10 alone. So these will do good in a bundle deal as well. Some Disney pins here. These ended up only being like 25 cents a piece. So um, I think the Halloween one actually does the best. That one should go for probably like $12 on its own. Mm -hmm. um, and the rest will be able to get a couple of bucks. They're just really, they were just really cool when she was only asking a dollar for the whole bag. Um, this right here, we'll move to these next. This whole basket here, if you guys saw, um, we were able to get all of these in the basket for $20. Um, that's when I knew she was just kind of ready to work some deals and cause I don't know exactly how many pieces they're, it is. And they're not old, but they're all new in package. And like these are, yeah, they're Star Wars, like Hot Wheels starships. Yeah. There's some we regular some figures, but I like, yeah, I looked up one. Regular... Of the Hot Wheels ones, and it was already going for like 20 or 25 bucks. And yeah. I was like, Yeah, yeah I've got we'll, some like Kenner. We'll sell these Kenner ones. And they're, I mean, for stuff like this, they're super easy to list and ship. They're new, really easy mm -hmm. to look up and find comps on. So we're gonna do, would you say, 100 to like 150? Yeah, on this, on, on this basket. And we got a laundry basket so we were, and yeah she said we, we could have the basket we were so winning, i always so. take a free laundry basket always doing laundry around here the madam alex yeah these are little madam alexander wizard of oz i think these are like actually like from mcdonald's mm -hmm. or something yep but we've actually picked these up a set similar to this um not, this not many. as many but we picked them up from an estate sale 
and they sold for $30. Some of these are a little dirty, um, so we'll see if we can get them cleaned up and what we can do with them. But still, even if we get the same thing, if we get 30 bucks for all of these, that's I'm happy with that. I'm happy with that. Um, I did forget. I'll just show them there. There's one there. Oh, yeah. And there's the one there. I totally forgot we got this. We've we've tested one. It's already working. They may not be sold. They, they we'll might see. just be fun for the backyard back there. But, yeah. yeah. Uh, the Smurfs. Yeah. Okay. So. This was an impulse buy for me. You said they're all 70s and 80s? Yeah. Late 70s, early 80s. We've got. It's a whole bag all figures. Of Some Smurfs. like that's like a Burger King set. We almost have the whole set of the Surfer ones. Yeah. Um, the house didn't go with it. Yeah, we but... thought this was a little Smurf house or something. It's not, but whatever. We'll still get it cleaned up and see if we can get a couple of bucks for it. Throw yeah. it in the store. And then a little the Garfield, little, um, Inesco. Sold a Christmas ornament for eight dollars plus shipping. Yeah, so I was like, okay, uh, that looks just like throw that. Throw this in. Why not? But those two pieces yeah. there were the. These, these are, are the, what I saw from the road. These are the roadside. Got to pull over, pick yeah. up. Yeah, and I mean, you kind of had to dig through her stuff. She just had totes, and she didn't really have anything laid out, so you kind of had to do some digging to find a lot of this. But this is an alarm clock or a clock. I think it's Tyco from the 90s. Yeah, so this will go for, or it's, no, it's Sunbeam. It's actually oh, Sunbeam. Sunbeam. Yeah. Okay. I think um, Tyco might be the phone. But, but yeah. $25.30 mm -hmm. is what that'll go for. And then this is um, this is a phone that hangs on the wall. We've sold a similar Garfield one where you pick up the receiver and his eyes like open and close. This <laughs> one's a little bit different because he hangs on the wall. Yeah, it's Tyco. So we'll get this um, cleaned up and listed this right here will pay for the whole lot we paid sixty dollars for everything and that will sell for sixty five dollars alone yeah so that totally takes care of everything and then all the rest of this that we've covered is completely profit so not a bad haul after striking out on the first five yard sales <laughs> this is the last sale of the day and high five to you. You saw the Garfield phone from the road. I mean, we found this yard sale by a sign. Like, yeah, it wasn't this was on, just, our, on our plan, no, our map. This was just driving around. But how did it feel when we saw that and you got to, like, go through totes and have somebody that's like, I don't want to put it back inside. And the, and the boys got free stuff. Yeah, she handed us a bunch of stuff to you and she was like, this, this, and this. You're taking it home because they were playing with it and I don't want to bring it back inside. <laughs> uh, but, no, it felt really good because we saw this and then, you know, saw some Barbies and then they're digging through toys. So then it's like the more we started digging through totes, I was like, okay, I actually really need to go through these because she's got some good stuff here and she's giving out good prices. And this is a yard sale in November, like yeah. the middle of November, which, yeah. you know, they're slowing down. We only had six sales, which is actually still kind of a lot. Um, but it was the last sale of the day and I'm really happy we were able to get as much stuff mm -hmm. as we did. And part of our new strategy, if you saw our, our video, I'll put a card up there just we said, hey, after having that really busy, we did, you know, a, a little over $5,000 sales week. But we realized with packing up orders and the listing time, this is kind of right up our alley. Uh, like I said, this is two days later, but you were able to get the dust off of a lot of the box things. Yeah, These are quick list, 10 to 30, 40. The phones, like I said, a quick wipe down. These are yeah. easy listers and there's stuff we like to look at. Yeah, like this is this is fun stuff for us to list. I mean, obviously, you know, if something's gonna be very profitable, you're gonna pick it up yeah. and list it. You're gonna wanna make that money. But even if it's not, like like this guy, he's not worth more than $10, but I just couldn't leave him. And I've already cleaned him up and I'll have fun listing him and then setting him to the side and seeing if he ever sells. Yeah, but I, but, I, yeah. I realistically think total profit, we're, we're if I'm being conservative, like $200 in sales. So we're yeah. going to profit 140 bucks right. minimum. Right. You know, and this is one stop and don't give up. Like we could have gone home after the mm -hmm. first four. Yeah. I mean, we had soccer later <laughs> that day. So we were like, all right, we can just go we had home a busy and day. rest before the game. Yeah. But I'm glad we found this place. I'm glad I saw the sign. <laughs> but yeah, we just wanted to share with you. And thanks so much. Give this video a like and subscribe yeah see she knows <laughs> and uh we'll keep bringing you more content to show you what you can go out there find and flip and we have fun doing it and we just have a ton of fun but we just want you to do as always what we always say go out there and make the world a better place with a sale and a smile and we'll see you again real soon bye guys